Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking everything cooking and recipes and above snakes. So uh, chat, one of the things that I found uh, after playing this game for a while is that uh, the tutorial doesn't really kick in for cooking uh, until you get into the mid game. And, you know, after uh, collecting some consumables, dropping down my campfire, I had absolutely no idea what to make. Like, oh my god, I'm mixing and matching uh, consumables, berries, and bones, and, you know, tea leaves, and all this other stuff, and I, I had no idea what to make. So, in this video, we're going to go ahead and have a look at the different recipes and how to craft them. Alright, chat, in order to start cooking, we're going to need a campfire. You'll be able to craft that in a tier 1 workbench here. Uh, so really, it's just going and uh, gathering some rocks, some flint, and some lumber. You know, that's pretty easy. Craft that at the workbench, drop it down, and uh, off you go, right? <laughs> Cooking away. But it's uh, it's not that easy, right? So uh, remember, hit tab to get to this menu. And under crafting, I would suggest that you craft the uh, recipe book. And, you know, honestly, you're not going to be able to craft a book. That's something you're going to have to find out in the world. And it's honestly, it, it's like super easy. It's not extremely difficult to find a book. It, it should be part of, uh, within the, like, the first uh, quest that you, you start to complete, you should be able to find some books. Uh, ink, on the other hand, that is a craftable in the workbench. Uh, so to craft ink, you're going to need some huckleberries. That's easy enough to find, it, you know, just gather those up in a huckleberry bush. And uh, a feather. And the uh, feather is, uh, you're going to collect in a tree, right? So that's uh, that's one of those things that you're going to run up to a tree, like right, right here, like so. Hit the F button, search, right? You get a branch, get a branch, should get a feather next. There it is, right? Super easy. You're going to craft, uh, hit tab again. You're going to craft, uh, essentially... I think it's two ink. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, three ink. So you'll need uh, three ink uh, and a book to craft a recipe book. And when you have a recipe book, nope, I'll go over to <laughs> I'll go over to mine. Uh, that will show up in equipment. Okay, so you go over here to your backpack. Come over here to equipment, and there's your recipe book. And now you can assign it to a hotkey. I can't imagine that you'd want to, but uh, you know, that's an option. So, all right, chat. So when you open up your recipe book, you should have all the recipes that are craftable within the game. Uh, I don't know of any Easter egg recipes. Uh, if you do, uh, you know, drop them down in the chat below. Uh, but, you know, I would imagine, you know, getting into a recipe book, uh, probably the first one you'll have is Huckleberry Bowl. That's probably one that you've already crafted. If not, uh, the recipes will look like so. So, yeah, you'll have all the recipes that you can craft within the world with a bunch of question marks. And, and we'll go over all. So you'll understand, uh, you know, what you need as far as ingredients, uh, where to get them. And, uh, you know, we'll go over each one of these recipes. And then I'll uh, go ahead and timestamp them down below uh, in the video. So if you're interested in, you know, any particular one, uh, you don't have to go looking it up. You can just click down below and... Uh, you know, fast forward to the one you want to see. All right, chat. So first up, and uh, you know, start to my morning. It's uh, <laughs> coffee beans roasted. Who doesn't love the smell of roasted coffee beans? All right, so we're gonna need coffee beans raw, and that'll be found in the plains. All right, chat. So this is what a coffee plant looks like. I know it's fairly difficult to see. Oh, that's my. There's my pup. He's, uh, he's found something. Uh, here's a coffee plant. <laughs> Clickety-click. F. And that's it, really. So, yeah. You just go around the world in the plains. It's one of the first tiles that you get. And, you know, try to find yourself uh, some coffee plants. So, they are actually pretty difficult to spot. I will uh, give you that. But, uh, oh, there's another one. Right here, here's another coffee bean plant, and then uh, we'll go check out how to make coffee. Alright chat, so through the magic of editing, I am now back in front of my campfire, 
And uh, here's what they look like, the coffee beans, uh, or the raw bean um, in your inventory. So you can do one or multiples. Uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, cook that up. Drop that down and we get, uh, out of three raw, we get three beans. So there you have it. All right, chat, so we can make two different types of coffee from uh, coffee beans roasted. We can make weak coffee. See, a uh, weak cup of coffee tastes more like water than coffee, but uh, does something for your for you sleep. Uh, I think that's a grammatical error. They mean your sleep. Uh, it'll add uh, 10 to your thirst and plus seven to fatigue, right? So, um, you know, if you're feeling drowsy, if you have some coffee, you can drink some coffee. You need one coffee being roasted and two uh, boiled water. Uh, so coffee, <laughs> nice hot, a nice hot cup of coffee, great for keeping sleep at bay. So this will add uh, plus five thirst and then plus uh, 15 fatigue, so a little bit more than double. Uh, but it's going to require two coffee beans roasted and one water. And that's it. That's your coffee. All right, next up, chat, we've got flour. Uh, crucial for baking something nice. Yeah, this is, a, this is a staple for most crafting or cooking recipes. And uh, you can get wheat by either sowing it yourself uh, in your field, right? Do I have any wheat on me? I don't. Uh, that's okay. Or, all right, chat, uh, where you find wheat is in a uh, grain field. So this, this is what a wheat grain field looks like. If we go ahead and hit uh, tab, or M, rather. Uh, this is a grain field here. It's uh, noted by the wheat, and it is part of farmland. So once you uh, unlock the farmland tiles and you quest through, you'll be able to get uh, the grain field. All right, and uh, so the way we're going to collect, and there may be a better way, chat. If you do know a better way, let me know. Uh, we're going to bust out our axe, and we're just going to hit strike the uh, wheat. And when we strike the wheat, we should, if you watch the upper right-hand corner, yep, there's a thing of wheat. And that's how you get wheat. Oh, so pro tip. Uh, we can go ahead and place a tile just real quick. I'll just place really, like, anything. Anything's fine, just to show you. Uh, wheat and corn, more so wheat, is a great way to increase scouting. Um, you'll see that this... This increments fairly quickly. And look at that. Like, I've already got another... I've already got another tile. And, uh... I'd imagine you probably get, I don't know, maybe five or six tiles out of one uh, grain field. And uh, these, I believe, respawn every couple of days. So a great way to get tiles along with uh, gaining wheat at, that you can sow yourself and, uh, you know, creating flour. So we'll jump over and we'll create some flour. All right, Chad, just wanted to show you that you can indeed sow wheat. Uh, we'll go ahead and plant some here. And uh, it looks like we'll, we'll get five out of that plot there. Just that single tile. So, uh, we'll walk over to our campfire. Oops, wrong one. Light that guy up. And, uh, yeah, again, so to cook flour, we're going to want three wheat. There you go. Hold T. And bingo, we've got flour to craft other uh, cooking recipes. All right, chat, next up we've got water. Uh, this is an easy one, right? Liquid that keeps you alive. <laughs> uh, it'll add uh, 60 thirst. That's quite a bit of thirst if cooked, uh, adding 50. Just a heads up, if you're not cooking uh, water and uh, cooking dirty water to make water, then uh, there is a chance that you'll get food poisoning. So uh, I would highly suggest that you cook your water. Uh, but yeah, so to, to gather water, you're going to go up to a source of water like so. And what we'll do is we'll hit F to scoop water. I would suggest doing them in threes. So there we've got our three dirty water. It will uh, cause fatigue. 
scooping water. So just a heads up, uh, make sure you've got uh, plenty of rest. Or uh, maybe you're at the end of a day like this and, uh, you know, you just want to pass the time. Uh, get your fatigue down, kind of maximize, uh, min-max your uh, playthrough. Uh, go ahead and scoop some water, because you'll, you'll eventually need it anyways. So, uh, we'll jump over to our uh, fire here. We'll cook three water. Click T. All right, and we'll turn the three dirty water into three water. And that's it, chat. That's all there is to water. All right, chat, next up, we've got fertilizer. Bone meal is a mighty fine fertilizer for growing plants. All right, and uh, this one's fairly easy as well. So come over here, click cook. Oh, I just had a fuel the fire. Uh, come over here and uh, click on three bone that you'll get from skeletons. And uh, yeah. I'll just cook that up. Voila! We've got fertilizer. So, uh, head over to your plot. We've got our wheat. We can uh, we can water by clicking F. We can see that the water's dry. It's it's a dry plot right now. We'll water it. <clears throat> that turns green. Fertilize it by T. That turns green, and uh, throughout time, uh, the green will uh, slowly uh, whittle down back to white. And uh, over here on the right-hand side is the, the growth stage of your crop. So there you have it. All right, next up, chat, we've got bread. All right, your daily bread. Don't look too closely, though. Weevils. All right, so uh, just a note, uh, bread gives a negative five to thirst. So it's not a plus five, it's negative five. Uh, so it takes away thirst, and it gives you plus 30 for hunger. We'll go over here to the campfire, we'll click cook. Uh, we'll add in our three flour, clickety click. Cook our bread, and voila, there's bread. And from bread you can make toast. Just kidding, there's no toast in this game. All right, chat, next up we've got carrot soup. A delicious soup made of wild carrots. That's uh, plus 35 hunger. It'll require one water and two wild carrots. All right, chat. Uh, wild carrot can be found in a uh, prairie tile. Oh, if I can click over, that'd be awesome. So yeah, here's your prairie tile. If we zoom in, uh, here's what a carrot looks like. It's the green thing on the ground. <laughs> we'll click F. We'll collect a wild carrot. Uh, I've always get that kind of mixed up with uh, wild mint because they, they do look like the same kind of bush. Uh, the carrot's just a little bit smaller and a little bit greener. That's what she said. Cook us some wild carrot soup here. There's our carrot soup, plus 35 hunger. Voila! All right, Chad, next up we've got cornbread. All right, so here's cornbread. Your daily bread made with corn, <laughs> yellow is the morning sun. That sounds like a nice little sonnet, doesn't it? Uh, this one's the same as regular bread. It's going to be a negative five thirst, uh, hunger plus 30. But uh, instead of wheat, we'll have corn and flour. All right, chat, here we have a uh, corn farm plot. So if I click on uh, M, oh, click on M. <laughs> I got to remember to click over, right? So uh, yeah, this is, this is what the uh, corn farm plot looks like. Probably just go see as well here, right? Cornfield. Just like so. And uh, what we'll want to do is, you know, the same thing we did for wheat. We'll come over here and uh, we'll chop down the corn. Go ahead and grab, you know, a couple ears of corn here. Now we'll head back over and we'll cook some cornbread. All right, chat. So we're going to be cooking some cornbread. So we'll grab two corn and uh, a flour, and uh, yeah, that'll give us our cornbread. Ta-da! All right. <laughs> All right, chat. Next up, we've got uh, grilled fish. So we've got two different types of grilled fish. We've got grilled fish, which is just a single uh, fish meat. And then we've got a grilled fish skewer. So that'll be three fish meat. And uh, there's a little bit extra benefit to going with three as opposed to one. Um, obviously, it saves inventory space, but uh, 
If you take a look at the hunger there, multiply it by three in math, that comes to 45. Same thing with health. Uh, if you multiply it by three, right, you get an extra five health points. So um, doing the skewered version uh, doesn't really cost you any more resources and gives you a little bit extra, right? And uh, so that'll be plus 50 uh, for hunger, plus 35 for health. Uh, so if you're down on health, that's definitely a food to eat. Uh, you know, maybe if you're out fighting zombies, have some skewers uh, skewed up in your hot bar and uh, clickety-click. And then we've got grilled fish, right? Which is plus 15 hunger and plus 10 on the health. All right, Chet, in order to fish, you have to have a fishing rod. Uh, I'm not going to go over that, but uh, what we'll do is we'll click 8. And uh, what you'll notice is it goes from red to white. And uh, we fish by pressing R. So, and all you do is, is there's no fancy catch to this. Ha <laughs> ha! Just, uh, just hold R. And just continue to hold R. Uh, you should get three fish out of a pool. Oh, look at that. I got scrap metal that time. And, uh, well, actually, we only got two out of this one. Let's move over to the next one. I might have actually fished that one. Uh, we'll click to click there. Fish out of this one. This also counts towards scouting. So we got some catfish out of there. More catfish. And a bass. So, uh, each fish does have... Oh, let's go over to tab here. I'll go to consumables. Uh, so each fish, when you got the fish, will give you uh, certain stuff. So... Um, you know, just the catfish gave us uh, two meat and a uh, skull. And uh, actually, it gave us a little bit something different that time, didn't it? It gave us some, uh, some oil. Some fish oil. And the bass. <laughs> that only gave us, uh, that only gave us one meat. Alright, let's go over it. We'll, we'll go ahead and cook some, uh, cook some fish. All right, we're going to clickety-click here and uh, click R. We'll go ahead and cook us up some fish. Mm -mm -mm. Right, so that's uh, that's the three. There's the one. There can be only one. And uh, yeah, that's how you cook fish. All right, chat, next up we've got a huckleberry bowl. So this is going to be in the early game. Uh, it'll be in the plains tiles. You'll collect huckleberries, and uh, yeah, if you throw three into the, the fire there and uh, cook it up, uh, you'll get a full bowl of berries! Yum! Alright, let's go! That'll give you uh, plus uh, 25 to hunger, plus uh, 10 to thirst, so it does quench your thirst just a little bit. Uh, I find it, you know, kind of helpful, you know, just a little bit, you know. Alright, so uh, I'll show you where they are. All right, chat, this is a huckleberry bush right here. So we walk over to this guy here, hold F, and uh, these bushes give you three berries. And if, uh, you know, if you're talented, uh, you could come over here and, uh, it's a pro tip, right? So we see the, uh, the bush is right there. Come over here and uh, we'll chop this tree down, right? You want to be facing the direction you want the tree to fall and smack. Gosh, there goes the logs and the berries. So, yeah, I really, uh, really killed two birds with one stone on that one. Actually, let's cook some huckleberries. No, I don't want that. We'll click off on that. No, click off on that. You know what? There we go. No, what are you doing? <laughs> it's so easy a caveman can do it. <laughs> Clickety click. There it is. There's our bowl. Tea to cook. <laughs> huckleberry bowl. All right, next up, chat, we've got the huckleberry tart. Yeah, so this one is a tart made with fresh huckleberries. Aren't you glad you saved them for this? Yeah, actually, I, I love pies. I don't know about you, chat. I love pie. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and click one of the. Uh, click one of those. We'll cook one of those. <laughs> Clickety click. And uh, whoa, I don't have any wheat. That's not good. I mean, flour. Yeah, yeah, I can talk. All right, we'll cook some flour there. You know? We'll do it live! 
chat. Do it live. All right, click there. And there's your tart. Uh, oh, did I go over the stats? I forgot. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. There you go. Um, minus thirst. Minus 10 to thirst. Uh, plus to uh, hunger. Plus 30. So probably not an optimal food. But uh, yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, right, chat. Next up, we got meat skewer. That's a big one. Oh, my God. That's three large pieces of meat stuck on a skewer uh, and cooked over the campfire. Hmm. Sounds relaxing. Uh, meals don't get much better than this. Mm -mm. Whole bunch of meat. Uh, yeah, so plus 65 to hunger. That's a great one. And uh, let's go uh, Let's go kill Bambi. All right, chat. Looks like I found Thumper. We're going to thump him here. Smash. Uh, yeah, so we killed a rabbit. We'll, uh, we'll skin and gut him. There we go. Found Bambi. Uh, yeah, so typically you find wildlife in the woods, as you, you know, probably would. Um, <laughs> you, uh, you're gonna want a bow and arrow, and, uh, yeah, yeah, just go, uh, go hunting and, uh, collect yourself some meat, because that's what you're gonna need. Gonna need some meat. Yeah, we'll kill one more Bambi. Oh, look at that, pro shot. Pro shot, chat. Pro shot. Right there. And, uh, yeah, that, that should do us. We'll go ahead and, uh, kick, uh cook our skewer. All right, chat. Uh, welcome back. <laughs> we are now in front of the, uh, campfire. But, uh, yeah, so if I'm looking at this, uh, we've got cooked meat as well, right? So you can do a single piece of meat or three meat. Uh, yeah, we'll just kill two birds with one stone. That'll give you at least another plus five to hunger uh, off the top. So a little benefit for cooking three meat. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll clickety-click and throw three meat on the barbie. Cook that guy up. Voila, meat skewer. Cook up our one meat. Click T and then you yeah, well, there you go. You got cooked meat there now. Next up, chat, we've got meat pie. All right. Fluffy crust with a hearty meat filling is just what a traveler needs on a cold evening. Hmm. Uh, it's uh, plus 20 hunger, minus five thirst, and plus 10 sanity. So this might actually be helpful if you're out uh, killing zombies because, uh, you know, you'll decrease in uh, sanity for every zombie that you kill. Uh, might be worthwhile to have some meat pie on on hand. So uh, yeah, yeah, this is meat and flour. Here we go. Grab some meat. Oh no, I did it again. <laughs> Feel like Britney Spears. Uh, <laughs> we'll make some flour. Clickety, yeah, clickety click. <laughs> make some flour. One, two. Oops, I did it again. All right, uh, yep, and we made some meat pie, Brittany's favorite. All right, chat, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> All right, chat, we're bringing it home. Look at this, we're on page three. We've got Miracle Powder from Old Doc, I'm going to say this correctly, Quackenbush. Uh-huh. Cure-all powder recipe. Stop bleeding and restore health. So yeah, that's a big one, right? That's a plus 50 health, and it is Desert Sage. So let's go check out Desert Sta Sage. Guess what? It's in the desert. All right, chat, here we go. We've got our purple sage here. That's what it looks like. You're in the desert. It's a purple little bush. Click F. Collect some of that. It's one per. One over here. Click that. One over here, right? There you go. All right, let's cook it up. All right, chat, let's cook this guy over the campfire. I'm going to grab some uh, sage. And we have miracle powder, plus 50 health. Cook that up. And voila! Next up, we've got mushroom soup. All right, so a meal fit for a king. It smells incredibly good. It's uh, plus 20 thirst, plus 20 hunger, plus 20 sanity. So... All around, pretty good meal. Uh, let's see, this takes uh, King Bullet. I, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. So two of those and a water. All right, chat, so your King Bullet is going to be found here 
in the forest. You just clickety click on that, and voila! Let me hit M. These are your these are your forest tiles here. So just in case you didn't know. Now, chat. So we're gonna need uh, let's see, two king bullet and a water. We'll go ahead and uh, oh no, I need to light my fire again. <laughs> Come on, baby, light my fire. Alright, so... Yep, there's our mushroom soup right there. Alright, chat, next up we've got popcorn. Watch them pop and fly around after you've heated your corn. So that's going to be negative 5 thirst and uh, plus 20 hunger. So I've noticed anything that's wheat and corn related uh, knocks down your thirst a little bit. But, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and cook that up. Hey chat, here we have a uh, corn farm plot. If I click on uh, M, oh, click on M, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta remember to click over, right? So, uh, yeah, this is this is what the uh, corn farm plot looks like. And uh, what we we'll want to do is, you know, the same thing we did for wheat. We'll come over here and uh, we'll chop down the corn. Go ahead and grab, you know, a couple ears of corn here. All right, chat, it's only fitting that we make popcorn at night. And we just uh, get it all wrapped up in our Snuggie and uh, make some popcorn, put some butter on it, some salt. Mm -mm -mm. Hang out, watch movie, you know, Netflix it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, chat? All right. <laughs> there you have it. There's your popcorn. All right, next up, chat, we've got pound cake. Who doesn't love a good pound cake? <laughs> a fluffy cake that's... Reds the scent of vanilla all around. So this guy gives you plus 30 hunger, minus 5 thirst, and plus 5 health. So yeah, looks like we got a flower and two vanilla flowers. Alright chat, if you're looking for vanilla flower, it can be found here in the prairies. It's like a little house on the prairie, you know? Alright, let's hit escape. And your vanilla plant looks like this right here. It's a nice, beautiful flower. See, you know, it's a yellow flower. It's right here. You know, vanilla, vanilla plant. Then we'll cook, uh, we'll use some flour and vanilla flour. We'll make ourselves a pound cake. Mm -mm. All right, chat, we've got pumpkin bread on the list next. So pumpkin bread, so tasty, so fancy. I'm so fancy. All right, so it's uh, minus 10 thirst, plus 35 hunger, takes a flower and two pumpkins. Let's go find some pumpkins. All right, chat, so where you find pumpkins, or where I found pumpkins anyways, uh, are in the farm plot. So I'll click M. Click M here. Uh, so yeah, we've got the corn and wheat plots, and in the corners of each one of these plots, there should be a pumpkin. Uh, most of them, there should be a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, so right here, just in the corner, there's a pumpkin. We'll grab one there, and uh, these, yeah, you, you can definitely uh, farm these in your own plots, so I would think that's worthwhile. And uh, yeah, there we go, we get a couple of pumpkins. All right, chat, so we'll uh, drop in a couple of pumpkins, a flour, and make ourselves some pumpkin bread. All right, chat, next up we've got syrup. Extremely sweet, but tasty. This will give you negative uh, 30 thirst, uh, plus 20 fatigue, and plus 20 health. So it's really kind of like a health potion. Yep, so that's going to require a honey and uh, vanilla flowers. Only two things. All right, chat, for honey, right, you're going to find uh, find that in a forest tile. Forest tile right there. And, yeah, this is the beehive, and you'll be able to hear the bees, and, you know, they're found on trees. So I uh, probably want to get out your axe for this one. And uh, the bees will attack you, but it's really not enough to be concerning. So just go ahead and give it a big whackaroo. <laughs> Smash that beehive. Oh, oh, get up there. There we go. So yeah, they, they will damage you. I uh, cut down the tree. I've actually cut down a beehive before without uh, cutting down the tree. So I, I don't know. It's just kind of what it is. There we go. See, just like that. And uh, pop. And you get some beeswax and a couple of honey from each one of those.
Yeah, and again, uh, here's your vanilla plant, right? So, uh, click M. It's in the prairies. Uh, this, this color tile here. Just, uh, walk on over to this pretty yellow flower and, uh, click some vanilla bean plant, right? Or is it a bean? I don't know. It's more just vanilla flower, right? We'll, uh, we'll watch out for this, uh, exploding zombie over here. Zombie with some TNT on it. And, uh, we'll head over and, uh, cook up some syrup. Alright, chat, so to cook some, uh, syrup, we need a honey and, uh, vanilla flour. There we are. Here's your syrup. Alright, so next up in the recipe book, we've got thistle tea. So there's two types of thistle tea. There's weak thistle tea and, uh, just regular thistle tea. I think, I think just saying thistle is just fun, right? <laughs> All right, so weak thistle tea. If you can get around the prickles, thistle heads are good for brewing tea. Uh, you need less water to uh, to get a stronger tea, though. All right, so weak thistle tea is uh, one thistle, two water, uh, plus 15 to thirst, and plus 10 to health. All right, so it's a thirst and health uh, kind of recipe. And uh, thistle tea... Uh, plus 10 to thirst and plus 20 to health. That's uh, two thistles and one water. I like I like the color. I like the purple color. It's pretty. All right, chat. If you're looking for thistle, right? It's uh, it's in a forest tile. So go down to forest, and it's this little uh, little purple flower right here. Honestly, it's it's pretty easy to overlook as you're running around. Uh, but yeah, it's it's in the forest. All right, chat. Thistle tea. There's uh. One thistle and two water. That's weak thistle tea. And then if we go, uh, oh, we'll hit escape. Hit R again. We'll go uh, two thistle and one water. And that's uh, regular thistle tea. All right, chat. We're going to cover uh, winter berry muffin. A muffin made with fresh winter berries. So fluffy and uh, flavorful. So it's uh, minus four. Five to thirst because we are using flour plus 15 to hunger it's a flour and a winterberry and then uh you know let's cover uh the winterberry tart as well right so uh tart made with fresh winter berries aren't you glad you saved them for this and this is uh negative 10 thirst but plus uh 30 hunger and that's a flour and two winterberries so it kind of makes sense to cover both of them in kind of one pop here right so all right, chat, strap on your uh, cold gear because we're heading into the winter biome for winterberry. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, it's going to spawn in here and any of these uh, cold uh, winter biome tiles. Hit escape and uh, come down here, right? Here we go. It's in the fever bush, a winterberry muffin. So we'll need uh, one winterberry and a flower. There we go. Click T on that, and uh, yeah, we'll go go with two, and that'll that'll uh, that'll create the tart. All right, Chad, I'm gonna do this one a little differently. Uh, these ones, as you can see in the recipe book, are question marks, but I know what they are because I looked them up. So they're actually mint teas. So we'll go ahead and grab some mint. And uh, I'll show you where that is, and we'll cook these up. All right, chat, so if you come up here to the prairies, uh, this is where you'll find wild mint. And wild mint looks like this. It's the bigger green plant. Uh, so, yeah, we can just click on that, click some wild mint. Uh, it's uh, it's not difficult to find. There's quite a bit of it out in the prairie. So, All right, no, actually, we're going to start off with mint tea smooth. So that's going to be a honey, this will be a mint, and a water. And uh, yeah, this is what the new recipe looks like. But yeah, smooth went, uh, mint tea smooth. All right, chat, so after creating the mint tea smooth on the fire, it's, uh, the description says, uh, wild mint, fresh water, honey, and heat from the fire. This smooth tea eases the mind. So it gives you a plus 10 to thirst, plus 10 to fatigue, and plus 10 to sanity. Hey, that's uh, that's pretty good, chat. <laughs> we'll go ahead and drink that up right now. 
Next up, chat, we're going to do Minty. So, uh, this will be a water and two mint. We'll go ahead and cook that up. And uh, mint tea, wild mint, <clears throat> fresh water and heat from the fire. Even the smell of uh, brewing it eases the mind. So that'll give us uh, plus 10 thirst, plus, 10, or plus 20 fatigue, plus 5 sanity. It's pretty good, chap. All right, let's do wheat mint tea. That'll be two water and one mint. Let's see, wheat mint tea, a bit of wild mint and too much fresh water. It resembles a mint tea, but it's just not quite it. So that's uh, plus five or plus fifteen thirst, plus ten fatigue, and that's our wheat mint tea. All right, Chad. Just wanted to summarize the mint teas, right? So we've got mint tea smooth, which was the honey, water, and wild mint. That's uh, plus ten to thirst, plus uh, ten to fatigue, and plus ten to sanity. That's a pretty good tea. Uh, you got wheat. Weak mint tea, which is uh, two water and a wild mint. <clears throat> That's plus 15 to thirst, uh, plus 10 to fatigue. And then you've got regular mint tea, which is a water and two mint. That's uh, plus 10 to thirst, plus 20 to fatigue, and plus 5 to sanity. That's your mint teas. All right, chat. <laughs> I'm sorry to do this to you. But I'm going to blue ball you with the spicy meat recipe down here. That's, uh, I can't make it yet. I'm going to be honest with you. I just haven't gotten that far in the game. But I have looked it up. I will, uh, I will leave you with the recipe. But uh, essentially, it is a uh, raw meat and a jalapeno pepper. You get It's sold by the Desert Merchant at Corpse Creek. So that's where you get it. I haven't quite gotten there yet. It's an end game uh, uh, recipe. So there you go. Uh, I apologize. Please don't burn me at the stake for that one. All right, chat. So that, that spicy meat recipe, that's going to give you plus 20 to hunger and plus 10 to fatigue. And uh, ah, I don't have the flavor text. I apologize. It's probably something really good. All right, chat. I'll leave you with that. If you uh, if you like if you like the video, if you uh, if you want to support the channel, go ahead and you know hit that like button. And uh, if you don't want to miss any of my uh, zaniness and uh, craziness, cause uh, you know just uh, just a little bit. I'm I'm a little spicy. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> go ahead and hit that sub button for me and uh, support the channel. Help the channel grow. I appreciate it. I'm uh, you know I'm I'm blessed and uh, thankful. Humbled, really. Humbled to, to see all the support from YouTube. You guys are great. And uh, I'll leave you with that. All right. Thanks, chat.